Hey guys, I'm here with Inertial Sense and actually with the CEO of Inertial Sense, Brian Cahoon. Nice to meet you, Brian. Nice to meet you. Tell me about something about this awesome product that I see here. I mean, these are tiny little inertial measurement units. It's actually more than an inertial measurement unit. Mm. We call it inertial navigation solution. And yeah, I knew INS. INS. Yeah. And so what that means is we're taking a GPS receiver as well as IMUs and fusing them together. Mm. So we do sensor fusion on board, taking in the IMU data, the accelerometer, gyro, magnetometer, and barometer, fuse that with the position sensor. Mm. Um, and then we can give uh, orientation data as well as position data. Basically, we're a, a better than GPS solution because GPS is kind of like a dot to dot, you know, sampled at five hertz. We're a nice smooth line that smooths out that signal with full 3D motion. So you output the the full state of the of the of whatever you're going estimating at what sample rate? Yeah. So uh, whether it's the navigation of a drone mm -hmm. or a robot or even just the payload of that, you know, the camera knowing its orientation, where it is in space. Um, we sample that out at 500 hertz. 500 um, hertz. Yeah, so typical GPS is 5 hertz. We do yeah. 500 hertz. We're, like we said, we're, we're that smooth line in the dot to dot of, of what GPS typically does. Yeah, I think as a developer, you know, I, I, develop, I develop code usually on companion PCs, where, so I connect to the autopilot using companion PCs, so I develop in, let's say, um, um, uh, Python language. Mm -hmm. So this thing here takes all the takes out the hurdle of programming low-level coding and gives you a perfect estimate your position, attitude, velocity, everything. That's exactly it. Our founder, uh, he founded an autopilot company way back um, and spent a lot of time picking out sensors, building sensor fusion and said, if I can just produce a small module chip, I'm going to save a lot of people a lot of time by not having to pick all the different sensors and do that work. And so it's a navigation solution off the shelf. Um, and we've designed it to build at very high volumes mm -hmm. um, so we can get to keep the costs down really low. So we're not only the smallest, but by far the lowest cost on the market. Oh, that's fantastic. And you were mentioning something about, um, about integration or SDK. Uh, uh, full SDK, so we try to be as friendly and easy to use as possible. You know, we support a lot of industry standard formats like NMEA output and um, whatnot. Um, UART, SPY, you know, all the interfaces, uh, CAN bus, wh whatever you need, oh, we try to make it easy. Um, we do have a ROS node out there um, for people who want to use it to program their robots. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, trying to integrate now with PixHawk and ArduPilot. Um, so oh, that's we good can news. Use that data also as well in, in those type of projects. Oh, thank you very much. How much would it cost to get one of these uh, inertial sense? Yes, a single unit, a price on a single unit, we price at $1,500, mm -hmm. um, which is already a, incredible in the marketplace. Um, but we're really looking for volume applications. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you order in the thousands, yeah. you know, we get down to about $100 a unit. So we're, we're really looking for things like self-driving lawnmowers and you know, <laughs> fleets of drones. And that's what we design for, not necessarily the you know, single, military applications yeah. that are or the, know, sing, the single application you want to go into the mass production. Yes. Yep. So integrate the, integrating the final product. Yep. I mean, we see a mass market need for autonomy uh, in a lot of different things, right? Um, better than GPS solutions in everything from human tracking, or, you know, um, monitoring athletes to self-driving lawnmowers to mm -hmm. fleets of drones. Yeah. Um, basically, <coughs> We, uh, this is our rugged version. We sell both a module that you can build into a board, or we sell a rugged unit that you can strap onto a drone or a, a robot, right? Um, but this uh, allows you to basically look at the INS output. So we're seeing attitude, roll, pitch, and yaw. Uh, if we had GPS hooked up today, we'd also see velocity and mm. position on the Earth. Um, I can show all the individual sensors, so gyros, accelerometers, magnetometers, and how they're uh, performing. And then you can see you know, all the message types that we support. So all this is available in the SDK. You can call any one of these message types to get raw IMU data or fused output from the INS or if you just need GPS data. Um, and we're excited to announce that we now support RTK GPS as well. So we can get you know, about three centimeters of accuracy on our position estimate. Oh, that's so. good news. Yep. That's really good news. Thank you very much for your time. Good and. I wish you good luck for the exhibition. And you guys, stick with me. We're going to go to the next booth. Thanks, guys.